Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the progress of the game store slash marketing agency. So I found a pretty good location, 2,025 square feet at $1.75 a square foot. Uh, there is cam. It comes out to comes out to two dollars and ten cents a square foot when you add in it everything. So not too bad. I mean, it's under five thousand dollars a month. So it is in a good location. Lots of traffic. I talked to a game store owner. I, he contacted me on Facebook. He's not in the state of Texas. We talked for one hour. He's not online right now. And we talked about inventory, card. He has over 750 cards he wants to perhaps sell or co-sign to me. We have to work on the details. I am not starting the new store until January, until mid-January 15th. Uh, that is because I need to build my website and they have to clean the store up. So the store is very dirty. Um, they, we have to work, uh, I think I have to build it out or tell them how I would like to build it out. The lease is for six months or a year. Obviously the six months is more expensive than the year and there is only a $1,500 build out. So that's the maximum I can build out if I sign for six months. If I sign for a year, I have a $3,000 build out budget. And a build out budget means like uh, you kind of get to choose the paint and you choose the decorations and you choose the uh, furniture. It does come with the furniture that is in it, which is nice. It's a, you know, it's office chairs, a conference desk. Uh, it's again, half of it's a marketing firm. So it has to have that basic necessities. I'm also interested. So in that, phone call i talked to a person about vending and i'm interested in vending with coca-cola uh, starbucks i think pepsi owns starbucks or they are somehow related red bull because essentially you sign up for a package you you order enough stuff which even the 10 people in a company we can we go through so much red bull and you get to keep the machine which is Interesting. So the pictures I'm showing you right now are another store in Houston. I've looked at different stores to see what I like. And it's not just magic. I want to have anime figures. I want to have comic books and manga and just have like a fun place. A graphic design library. I own probably the most famous graphic design library in Houston. Uh, it used to be called My Domi Books, which is a, if you're a graphic designer in Houston, you know what it is. I, it went out of business a few years ago and I purchased whatever remained. So I had 800 books. Was it 800? Yeah, it used to be 800. Now it's down to 550 because my graphic designers have been taking the books home, which is fine. It's fine. It's their birthday gifts. I just tell them to take as much as they can carry home and they can take 50 books or something like that. Crazy. It's very, all the books are different languages. It's unique. Uh, I have that library. So that library is actually quite valuable. And I could probably sell the books to graphic designers. So maybe graphic design, maybe art. So the space is only 2,000 square feet. The person I was talking to had a square footage of 25,000 square feet. And I was like, yeah, that's not gonna work. So I have to figure things out. The most important thing I have to figure out is my website, mtgline.com, which I have made, but I haven't put any time on it. It has to sell cards. It has to be automated. Um, it has to be e-commerce. It's a magenta backend, which is better than Shopify, in my opinion. I do, I build e-commerce websites. So I'm not a big fan of Shopify. Magenta is what I normally use because it's more uh, flexible in terms of, especially if you grow later on, you don't want to be with Shopify. So yeah, that's where it is. I have enough stock. I'm interested in more, always more, but right now I think I can work out a consignment deal where the person sends me all of his magic cards and I give him a good faith payment and we split it 
a percentage of the profits on, on his cards. He has 750,000 cards. I believe the numbers we're talking about is 80 to 100K, uh, 1,000, 80,000 to $100,000 in stock. But obviously, I would give him a down payment and then pay him the rest as a percentage when it's sold. So it sounds good. Uh, it's pretty much happening. Uh, also, importantly, GP Houston is January, late January. So I want my shop to be open before GP Houston. So if you're coming around, you guys can come visit my shop if you guys get here early. And yeah, so the shop or in the daytime will be a marketing agency and then at nighttime it will run the video games. I'm obviously looking for employees as well because I don't want to be there for like 24 hours, right? Uh, so if you're an employee and you're interested in working, let me, well, I, I'm looking for a lot of stuff. A, I'm looking for someone to manage my inventory online only. So online sales rep or inventory manager. I'm looking for employee in the store to like run events, possibly a judge. And ideally, I, I would have that employee would be interested in graphic design, anime. Um, they could, yeah, it could, like, I, I'm not going to find this person, but it would be one person, and that one person could do everything I would need. They would sell anime, order anime, buy anime uh, figures, buy manga, restock the Coca-Colas and stuff. Uh, the, that's where the, all the margin is. That's where a large mar amount of margin is. I was talking to the other dude and he had like a hot dog thing and popcorn and like half his store was like food, which makes a lot of sense because those are high margin items that people need. And where I'm located, it's not uh, easy to get food. So that's kind of good and kind of bad. There is a Whataburger maybe 15 minutes away, but that's 15 minutes away driving. Parking is whatever. I don't want to um, I want to make a video. I have a video of the place. It just looks really crappy. So I need them to fix it. Um, I'm not, I didn't sign any contracts yet. What they're going to do is they're going to clean it. And then I'm going to look at the new clean version. They are going to give me $1,500 of, you know, improvements that I want to make, like including signage and anything that I want. And I can then we'll agree on that $1,500 of what they're supposed to do to make the store look better. Then I'll sign the six month contract. I don't think I'm going to sign a year. Uh, I, you know, the last contract I signed was a month to month. And even that was like kind of, eh, I don't want to, okay, month to month. So he's not going to do month to month, which makes sense. Unlike the other place, the other place was located in a mall. So. I've been looking at other game stores. I've been seeing what they stock. I've been seeing like who their employees are. I pretty much know what I want um, in an employee. I because I, I hire a lot. Ideally, it would be a graphic designer or illustrator who has some interest in Magic the Gathering, maybe in making videos, because I want to. I want artwork. That's what I want. Uh, the whole point of this is not a. It's an exercise in. So I have funding, I have investment funding, I have personal funding, I have other funding sources. Getting funding is not terribly difficult and I have stock. Just my own collection is enough stock to feed the store, feed a 2,000 square foot store, definitely. I, I've learned to not carry board games because board games uh, sit there for a long time. I was looking to buy a, about 40K in board games. I was like, okay, what's the turnover in this? And first he lied, then secondly, I figured out, wow, these games have been sitting here for 10 plus years and there's no interest. And these are on discount. These are massively discounted. Now you can sell games online. You can sell board games online. But again, a lot of this depends on the website. I don't have time to work on a website right now. Hence the January launch date. January is, I'm pretty sure, GP Houston. And on top of that, it'll give me December. So during the Christmas holiday, I will be just building out the website. Uh, that's what I planned. Other than Christmas, I have everything is scheduled. I mean, I have a, a real job. I have employees that I have to make sure get paid because they have children. They are some of them. Are, one of them is pregnant. I don't know why I keep saying some of them. It's just one of them. One of them is pregnant. Um, there's other issues. All of them have student loans. All of them are millennials. 
so not like too great. Like they have to get their paycheck. They're living, I, I'm pay them like pretty decent rage, wages for a startup, but they're living paycheck to paycheck because they're millennials and they have student debt and rent and all this millennial stuff that people deal with. I'm a millennial too, by the way. So yeah, I no, I, I think everything, I've found a location. Um, I don't want to show you, I have videos of it because I have videos of every location and I don't want to show you the location until they at least fix it up. Um, and then I'm going to build it out. And after it's built out, I'm going to stock it. And then after it's stocked, so actually the main, so I was talking to that one dude who owns that huge 25 foot square, 25,000 foot square feet gaming store. And I learned quite a, not that like I asked it, but the way that he like responded to certain, what, what he was saying was very interesting because he's not online. But I think all of sales, the majority of sales is online and the only reason you have a physical place is so you can get really good prices from Wizard of the Coast and other distributors because they want to know that you have a store. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the model. Uh, that's the model of like every... The local game store is dying and it's obvious why. Uh, no one supports it anymore. YouTubers like Tolarian, who used to say local game stores were amazing, they always say buy from Card Kingdom now. I, I mean, it's all of them. Uh, it didn't always do, used to be this way, but it is this way today. And no one says support your local game store. Everyone's buying online at the cheapest possible price or supporting, quote, MTG celebrities, uh, maybe on Card Kingdom, maybe on TCG Player, maybe on Ultra Pro. I mean, I watch some of these things and it's commercial after commercial after commercial, which is fine. I mean, that's how they make a living. They can make a six-figure living this way and that's great for them, but it sucks for your local game store. Uh, I think I have a video on b before. Um... I, it's got to go digital. So my website component, the fact that I am a very good website developer, I have some of the most beautiful websites. I've, well, I, get, I, I do website design, right? And I'm also a pattern attorney. So uh, I have a lot of skills, but if I had to name one skill is my graphic design is top notch. Uh, so the MTG line only took me eight hours to make right now there's no content there's no like stuff i had to fix everything it's just a proof of concept it's just so i can encourage myself but if i took uh thanksgiving and i took christmas and i all i did was grind out the website i guarantee you it would be a better website than most of these uh paid platforms right so i look at pico trade and pico trade is not a sixty thousand dollar website in my opinion I, I build websites for a living and that is not i mean the functionality, yes, is kind of nice. Um, and it did cost money and time to build it with MT Magic the Gathering online. But overall, the trading platform is, uh, the piece of code is not at all impressive to me, given the fact they took a year and then 60, well, 60,000 of Patreon money or donations. I don't know how much of the 5 million they put in. I'm assuming they just took the 5 million cash and said, F it, we're out. But um, I think my website could be as good as PicoTrade, if not better, and I don't have to ask for a cent of donation. And I don't need to scam people of $5 million because, yeah. So I might make, I might make something uh, similar, but for free. No cost, no 10%, none of this stuff. Yeah, like, huh. I mean, right now I'm just going to make a store website and that's going to be it. And in the future, maybe I'll develop apps when I have more time. We'll see. I mean, <laughs> we will see. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.